Okay, throughout the recipes, we keep talking about garlic and ginger, this marinade, this wonderful added ingredient which uplifts everything. And it's very, very simple. If you've got a commodity that it's a must have, it's this. It is great. And all it is, is quite simple. It's just taking two parts of garlic and one part of ginger. And all I do is, is keep it quite robust. If you've got a food processor, if you've got a food um, liquidizer, is just peel the garlic. The ginger, you can either peel, but I actually don't. I just chop it up into chunks, pop it into the liquidizer, and then I just add olive oil. It all blends in together, which is like this consistency. Great, it doesn't matter if it's stringy, it's, you know, it is say that'll cook out. It is just a great item to have in the fridge. And this will keep for up to six, six weeks plus. Within the recipes as well, there's, I have a chopped herb recipe. And this is great because I love a mixture of different flavors going on. So what I've done is I've taken the herbs, which I enjoy being flat parsley, coriander, some marjoram, some thyme if possible, and, and, and even some sage. And I've chopped them. You can even incorporate the stalks, which I have, as I say, because waste not, want not. And it doesn't really matter because you're keeping it robust, mixing them all together so you've got equal quantities. And once you add a teaspoon or a tablespoon to that recipe, it just puts a completely different zing or twist to that dish.